human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together, Cassisterium. When some wild-eyed ape puts all maniac grabs your neck, taps the back of your favorite head up against a barroom wall, he looks at Chris in the eye and he asks if you paid your dues. Inconceivable! Alive! It's alive! It's alive! Hey, it's Geek Public Radio right here on geekpublicradio.com, and this is the podcast. Yay! Surprise, surprise, surprise. (laughs) Surprise, surprise, surprise. So yes, we're here to talk about all the things that we've been doing in the station and around the world. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, some of the other stuff that that has popped up into our brains. So... uh, what is new in your world, Sonny? Uh, I don't even know where to start. Well, uh. <laughs> we'll let everybody know what's been going on. Why we haven't been on air. Uh, uh. <laughs> is it that hard? You you picked well, up I'm a new job. To, well, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to figure out where it's all started, to be honest with you. So, well, you picked up a new job. I did. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I did that yesterday. Uh, working for Don. So you're now uh, the AD. Yeah, the... the <laughs> assistant director for uh, uh, Relish Productions. No, I was going to go with attention deficit because <laughs> right, right now that's pretty well apt. <laughs> but we're, you know, you're doing a lot of a lot of cool stuff with Relish Productions now. Yeah. You you know, we talked last time that like you you just taken over the uh social media for them and you did uh, that was the last time we were on? Well, it was the last thing we talked about like specifically talking about what you were doing. Cuz we have like there's been a long list of of shows that we haven't talked about what we were doing. Besides what was going on in the station and well, and that's uh, that's out. what I was trying to think of. Like you know, we have done so much crap. I'm trying to think of like what you know, because this is our first one in three or four weeks, right? And I'm trying to think of what we were doing for each week. You know, why it missed, and it's just been so much stuff that, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't even remember what the last thing we talked about. I'm pretty sure it involved a flamethrower. <laughs> but uh, just because that that's never going to go away, <laughs> right? But but what it was that was going on? I mean, we had we had uh, Maker on. You know, yeah, we had him on. And did we do a show after Maker was here? I don't think so. Okay, that would make sense. Like he, he once he, he came in, like show for three weeks. Yeah, that's, that's mi- our that's our excuse. <laughs> he mic dropped out, and we had to like scramble. Yeah, the last show was when Maker came out. Oh, well, then we're just going to blame that guy. <laughs> it's been a minute because, you know, him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, well, I mean, then shoot, if that was the last one we done, then the first, you know, we've, we finally, you know, we, that day we thought we had the tower or the uh, antenna fixed and it wound up. Not, not being fixed <laughs> and we had to do it all over again the next, the next day. day and then like it wiped us out for the rest of <laughs> yeah like a week yeah and then uh you know since then we've picked up a 20 foot tower an uh, actual tower and a 30 foot tower yep and you know uh good lord there's been so much stuff like so much i can't I, we've done uh well, we had the we had to do the stuff for the Roku channel for uh, Hillbilly mm-hmm. Libations. Yep, we done that's that. up. Yeah, that that's already up. Um, God, you know, I told you I was ready to go on air, but uh, <laughs> I wasn't at all, like flat footed. But you know, you take three weeks off, and this is what you get. So sorry, folks. Um, 
I, I can pull the ultimate, like, pass the buck here and be like, well, I just do whatever you tell me to do. <laughs> so what have we been doing, Chris? <laughs> everything. I've yeah. been having you do everything. Yeah. <laughs> right. So uh, a little bit of what you know about, um, we do – uh, we are members of the yeah, that, Indiana on tap tasting society and, uh, you'll hear us talking about it, uh, at least once per show, because you know what, we love the crap out of it. And, you know, it is kind of expensive for a year, $59, but if you use the coupon code chambers 10, you can get $10 off. And we, between the both of us, both of our memberships have, ships have already been paid for yes it has in just the immediate area like we went to muncie <laughs> and we got way more than what we would we had already paid out so like everything it's already worth and that leaves us the rest of the state <laughs> right. to get cool stuff um the home bar downstairs has uh the hammered dwarf yeah the hammered dwarf has now an um, abundance of uh, the uh, uh, growlers and whatnot sitting in it, and all of which were full at one time. <laughs> right. So it was definitely something that we uh, we we got our money out of. So check it out. Like I said, go to tasting or uh, Indiana on tap dot com. Click on the bottom when it says become a me- member. Like become a member. You go through. And just as you get ready to check out, it says coupon code, put in Chambers 10. You take $10 off, and, you know, it helps us out, Be you know, right up front. It does help us out, but you get to become a member of this tasting society and get a whole, like, over $1,000 worth of free and discounted merchandise. It's freaking awesome. And, uh... Somebody's probably here. Yeah. So, uh, check it out, and, uh... Let us know that you uh, you did it. So yeah, check that out. Um, we were talking off the air about uh, Solo doing so bad, which I haven't seen it yet. So I haven't either. I mean, I've I've heard both ways. I've heard it was decent. I've heard you know it sucked out loud, but <laughs> but that's like the thing. Yeah. That's what you you know. You hear, um, they talk about, like, toxic fandom. Like, people just hold so far on, like, what they, you know, like, they strangle it. Yeah. Like, no, you you can't let it grow and, and change into something else. Or whatever. Um, but, uh, so the rumors were that uh, Lucas Oil and Disney. Lucas Oil. Or Lucas Oil, yeah. Lucas Films. Welcome to Indiana. <laughs> Lucas Film and uh, Disney had uh, put the kite, you know, put at least put the brakes on uh, stuff coming going forward. Yeah, the new spinoffs and single, like the little short story, or not the short stories, but the uh, you know, like the like a Star War story, you know, like the the upcoming Kenobi and the rumored uh, uh, Boba Fett movie. Right. Um. <clears throat> the uh, uh, Lucas has actually came out in the last 30 minutes mm-hmm. and set it out saying that uh, um, all of those movies are still still on. They're okay. still in process of being worked on. They're still doing okay. this stuff. So, well, I, I knew that they were they were planning on you know obviously doing the last of the trilogy and then. Uh, they were. They hadn't changed the. I think is it Ryan Johnson? They or no Abrams, whoever's doing the next trilogy. You know that that's supposed to be unrelated to the Skywalkers. Much like you know the Last Jedi. <clears throat> but anyway, <laughs> yeah, I knew that they were still going to uh, to go ahead and finish the, you know this the ninth film, and then you had went ahead and greenlit the other trilogy that they were talking about doing. But they had stopped the two sh- the two stories, you know. <coughs> but they've come back on that now and said that. And it's, uh, they just said that uh, um, you know everything everything that they had in production after Solo was still in production after Solo. So 
Okay. They they said nothing is off. I mean, Solo still made three hundred and forty one million dollars in this first four weeks. Right. So that you know. Well, and, and it's you know like people talk. Uh, you know, it didn't do bad for a Hollywood blockbuster. I mean, it done it done respectable, done pretty good. Um, but as far as like recent year Star Wars movies, it didn't do as great. But mm-hmm. I mean, then it's it still, still made money. It's still, yeah, it still made an ass load of money. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. you know, it's like if you if it had come out and it made like fifty million dollars, you know, for its run. Okay, yeah. well that's a horrible movie, right? You know, but uh, you know, it's pumping out figures like that. Sure, it might not be the best Star Wars movie out there, but people are but still people seeing. are still going and see it. You know? They're still spending money on it, right? I mean, there's still something there. I mean, you can rub a dog turd. And say it was, you know, on paper, and say this is a Star Wars movie, and people, people will, still will still go, go see, see it. it. Yeah, because that's but. what they've done with Star Trek. <laughs> oh yeah, my guy. <laughs> Oopsie. But uh, so, like, you know, and the question being is, you know, all the Star Wars movies that came out that actually did really, really well all had December slots. Yeah. Solo didn't. No. So would it have would it have done better in the regular slot versus? You know, I don't think really. Honestly, I don't think that means a whole lot. Um, well, I mean, I, I would there is a difference if, between if, if, wintertime slots and summertime slots because not a lot of people are going out to the theaters in the sense you know because it's warm outside. They're doing other things. They're, they're well, shit, man. That's when I want to go to the theater. You know, it's not balls ass cold outside. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, I mean, for me, in the like, oh, I can go into the, I can go do something. I can go into the air conditioning. I can, well, I'm, I'm like, I can go into the heat. I can go do something. We can go out and enjoy ourselves, and it not be sitting at home. You know, whatever. We can actually go out and do something, and you know, go see a dinner. Go go to a dinner. Go watch a movie. Yeah, I'm, I know I'm, I'm old because dinner and a movie is still like a good night out for me. Right. I'm surprised it took so long for him to capitalize on the May the Fourth. You know, May yeah. the Fourth be with you. I'm surprised it took this long. I'd been pumping out Star Wars movies and you know <laughs> on May Fourth. You know, regardless, I'm like, oh well, you're making that an unofficial holiday. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. You know. Yeah, but like how? Like I didn't realize because you got Cinco de Mayo and you got all the other stuff. You know. And Hangover, the the no, the, that's the, Revenge the, of the Fifth. The, the <laughs> Cinco de Mayo, then you got like the Hangover, the Sixth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Revenge of the Revenge of the Tacos. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Am I not the only one that gets like I, stomach disruptions after after? Well, uh, are you talking tacos or are you talking Taco Bell? Oh well, no! I'm because talking about like Mexican food. Because those are entirely two entirely different things. If you eat so much Mexican food, you still are going to get some stomach disruptions. If that's not your normal dietary intake. No, I th- well, I mean, I don't know. Because it- we po we have like uh, hamburgers and hot dogs. <laughs> right. So, like. So. That that's you know so it's like tacos, <laughs> okay that's awesome that tastes great now I gotta use the restroom. <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> I'll be back. You know. Wow. Hey, I'm just being honest. Yeah. People say that I can't. You know. <laughs> what? Be honest. <laughs> well, no, that they 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 say I can't. You know, keep a secret. No, I can't because you know I'm just. I, I'll tell you. <laughs> I can't not tell you. I know. That's why I don't tell you shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I had to buy my wife's Christmas and birthday presents like two days before because that's about as long as I know I can last. Well, not just that. So I was like, here. It takes that long for you to figure out what to get her. <laughs> Sometimes Is there a too. WoW expansion coming out? No. <laughs> Damn. Uh, shit. <laughs> um, well, we know that that's like the given. Like, oh, there's a WoW expansion? Guess what? Star so Wars is coming out. I'll take her to see Star Wars. <laughs> no, like, oh, there's a new Star Wars movie on Blu-ray. Well, I'll get her that. She doesn't have it yet. And then when she gets, she's like, "Oh my god, thank you." 
Who, who is the best? Here, have a flower. <laughs> I got you a flower. <laughs> and cool stuff. So she'll actually get her present when, you know, the expansion goes live on August 14th. <laughs> right. Birthdays in the beginning of June. She got to wait for a month. That's kind of sadistic, really. <laughs> well, I don't know. In a what weird she way, wanted. I mean, you know. It's what she, she's like... This is all I want for my birthday. Just get it for me, and I'll I'll, I'll be so happy. Just, just get it. I was like, oh, why don't I get you what you got me? But, but I, I want didn't... something for my birthday. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> ah, good for the goose, good for the gander, huh? But no, like no, so, like I got, I, like I was always planning on getting or something. I was just teasing her, but it's fun to watch her go <gasps> until she realized, oh wait a minute, like that's not normal. <laughs> How come I got this this uh, a uh, a level adjustment? Like I have a free level boost to 110. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. No, no, I have access to all this stuff. You got me it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, you know, no, I didn't do nothing. No, okay, happy birthday. Here, have a flower. <laughs> Here's a flower. It's what you get right now. No, she's. She's sitting on a level boost from the last expansion. She's sitting on a level boost from this expansion. And she'll probably sit on a level boost from the next expansion. She'll have three level boosts. I didn't know they stood, they stacked. Yeah, like you can, you have, they're individual level boosts. Huh. So like, you know, she has a 100 level, a 110, and then she probably won't use it because she thinks it's cheating. So, Send them my way, shit. So she'll she'll end up having like every level adjustment that they came out with. She'll just have them stacked and ready to go. And this is like really. Why don't you use them? Like it's fun, you know. That way you can get one character that you know. Just I've always wanted to try this, but I don't want to go through leveling. Well, and that's what I've done with Boom. mine. You know, had Utheran was that mage. You know, I didn't feel like running all over hills and you know leveling him but i still wanted to keep to keep the character you know so just do a right. quick 110 and they max everything out and all right you know this saves me time right you know and, and you spent more time running around with it there and yeah <laughs> then i have my main right so anyway i mean it's perfectly fine because you got to run around and you got okay well now that we got all these uh artifact charging things i gotta get those and put them in and actually boost the levels on my artifact weapon now and i'm doing this and you're doing that and you're running the same quest you are with your main but you're just a higher level yeah you know i still get judged though by what by dagan you know by my main because you know you <laughs> pod the, you get the splash screen there and you see all the characters and you scroll up to him and you know he's still there and as i you know go over him then he's just kind of looking at me like, where are you playing with him? What are you doing? We've been through hell. We've been through some shit, boy. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, but you haven't killed the Lich the Lich King with him yet. Not yet. Totally so, though, that. Yeah, go ahead. I just proved that you could. I probably will. That's I mean, one of the things. I ain't messing like, with Deathwing anymore, I'll tell you no, that. No, that is the ri- most ridiculous I'm, thing. I'm like, well, and that's the one the one that I wanted to do. You know, it's like, well, you you go into something, you, you want to fight a dragon. Right. And then you is like herding kittens when we all get on there. I'm like, jump on that, jump on that. And then I was still standing in the hole and still got blown off the back of the dragon. I'm like, okay. Well, we're going to call it a night. <laughs> I think if just two of us do it. It might be because I watched the well, guy do it like solo. It. Yeah, we were gonna, we were gonna, and then you know I was standing in the hole, and because you, we both went in there, and I was still standing in the hole. You said to stand in, and he rolled, and I got knocked off the back of the dragon. So I'm like, okay, well, well, no, like I was already upset that like <laughs> the entire team just fell apart. Well, you know, and it's like you know I understand. I'm thinking of like getting a guild thing, saying, oh, you 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 know as, you've done this as a guild. Boom. Right. Achievement. And, or it's like, because if it was just me just wanting to get the, okay, yeah, I do want the title. <laughs> right. And I do want the, whatever comes from it. That, 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 that's cool. But, still, the idea of like doing it as a party, you know, like 10 people, this is a 10 person raid, and they do it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And it's, is it really we that hard well, you know, <laughs> for five? <laughs> not a, there's not a lot of squirrel going on in their party, I imagine. 
<laughs> right? I don't know. So, but no, that's what was frustrating. It was like, you know, can't we just get on, you know. And part of it was is we don't have team speak or we weren't on team speak. So, because well, the majority of the four of, people, of us are within yelling distance. Right. And it was like it, the whole time I was yelling, move, get over here, take him up by the top. You know, like uh, hollering out directions for everybody. Top and, of what? Move where? And that's that's <laughs> what's going on in this house. <laughs> like, move what? Turn it over. What are you? T- what? <laughs> oh, I'm dead again. <laughs> it's like God damn it. But uh, uh, yes, that was a, a little bit ridiculous. Yeah, it's. Uh, but uh, uh, we'll get it eventually. Yeah, because uh, I want it. I, I I just want to kill the dragon. Right, right. Well, who doesn't? I mean, if it's a dragon, you want to kill it. Right. I mean, that's why they're extinct. <laughs> and segueing, using that as the segue into this, you announced uh, on the uh, the group that um, World of Warcraft is free. Yeah, it's uh, apparently uh, apparently free for the time being. Huh. So uh, that and they're going to level you up to a basic. What is the basic? Uh, Pandaria? Isn't that what they did for you? Uh, well, <laughs> no. Like, if you wait long me, enough, you don't have to buy expansions? The only thing, well, <laughs> right now I think basic is, uh, I believe, it's the Warlords of Draenor. Because well, when, when when I got back on, Warlords was the newest, and Legion was just getting ready to come out, or Legion had just come out. Yeah, and they, they popped so, you up to... Yeah, they popped me up through uh, Warlords of Draenor. I had to buy Legion. And then uh, Legion been out for a while. And then here in a month or so, uh, the Battle for Azeroth is going to come out. So there was a, a two for one deal, same price as if you're pre ordering the uh, Battle for Azeroth, you get the Legion and the Battle for Azeroth pre order, mm-hmm. and you get the 110 character level boost. So that's what I've done. And, uh, you know, so. I, Right now, I'm on Legion waiting on it, just like everybody else. But uh, <laughs> yeah, because like without paying for anything other than my monthly subscription, I was up through. Uh, yes, the uh, the it, it goes up to they've leveled everybody who has a <laughs> passive subscription up to Warlords. Okay, because I just looked down and was like, because you know I have the the one that that got hacked, mm-hmm. and then I went to it, started another one, and then they I finally got the other one back, so I pulled it under. Mm-hmm. And I just let it sit at, I think, Lich King was when that happened. Yeah. Now it's all the way up to Warlords. Saying, hey, you can come play characters that you haven't played forever. Right. And that's that's a pretty sweet deal. You know, I originally got out of it back when Cataclysm had just come out. And, you know, <laughs> Mom, <laughs> and you boosted your all the way up yeah, to Warlords. Mom stayed in it. And, you know, she bought, like, Mist of Pandaria and... and or Kung Fu Panda, or whatever it was. <laughs> that too. And, uh, you know, so she'd stayed in it off and on, and then, you know, I come back, and hell, I can get like three free expansions. <laughs> you know, because I don't even, how many are we up to? I mean, we had, you know, I started playing Burning Crusade, it just came out. Yeah, we Vanilla. Had, we were there for, uh, so I played through Burning Crusade, BC, Wrath of the Lich King, Wrath. And, st- and I stopped right after, Kaz- I actually got the collector's edition of Cataclysm, it came out. So you have, like, let's see, you have Vanilla. Yeah. BC. Yeah. Lich Wrath. King. Cat. Pandaria. M- Mr. Pandaria. Warlords. Legion. And Battle. So Battle's going to be the 8th expansion. I think or so, the yes. the 7th expansion. No, 8th. Because I was counting my thumbs. Oh, okay. I, I, well, I didn't know if you counted Azeroth as one or if you counted BC as the first one. Well, I just count like it. anyway. I I, I counted yeah, it vanilla. Don't yeah, I there's a shitload vanilla. of them, and you're getting a lot of stuff free. Yeah, so yeah. Just Might imagine well. like you have a vanilla account and haven't touched it. Yeah, and like oh, it's free, and we're bumping you up to there. Like okay, May- no, all I have to wait is uh. But if you haven't touched it in forever, then you don't know about the skill trees going away and the nerfing and all. <laughs> well, you don't know. You about- don't have to quest for your charger. What? <laughs> Well, that's what they were talking about doing the, uh, you know, they made the announcement that, of course, they didn't give a time frame. No, no. Um, the vanilla servers. But launching the vanilla servers. A lot of people are up in arms about that because they think it's the game going backwards. Well, no, it's just a chance for people to play those vanilla servers to actually go back and play the vanilla server. Right. Because uh, Blizzard was shutting them down. 
Yeah. Saying um, these aren't official Blizzard things. You're infringing our and our copyrights. Yada yada yada. Shut them down. Then open and, up some vanilla servers. And, and people them. were like, "But we in, this is the game we enjoy. We don't enjoy the other one." Back in the day, when you know you just didn't get handed gold, and you, <laughs> man, it was it's a whole different game now. I tell you what, than what it was when I was playing. Before. I've made more gold in the last three days than you said that you made, like the entire time in you you had in your pocket. <laughs> yeah, and it wasn't nothing but, you know, doing quests and selling items. It used to be. I mean, it was a big deal to get a gold, just a gold. Period. Much less to, you know, have th- hundreds of thousands or more. You know, I had like 200,000 like because I, I, I paid for it. I'll be honest with you. Oh, yeah. And then, because I, I caught, I, I basically spread it out. I put some money in the gold in the guild bank. I put some money on, on I gave money to you guys so you guys can get your, your characters up and this, that, and the other. And get your flyings and, and, and whatnot. And, you know, I spread it out and did this. And then, I was like, okay, well, I'll just keep my bank tune over there with the rest of it and we'll see what we do i still made like seven thousand gold off of uh my new priest yeah. in a matter of, of, of like a day yeah your high priest yeah my high priest of the cult of cthulhu that tried to raise an elder god and we did and we, we yeah sucked. we did it was not <laughs> impressive at all <laughs> Like, we were sitting here going, okay, I'm going to record this. God, this is going to be awesome. We're going to put it on Twitch, and it's going to be great, and it's going to be, what the hell? Yeah, and, like, it was dead. Like, literally, I got one hit on it, and it died. Hey, we just got to the point where we could see it, and then it dropped dead. I'm like, what? Really? And, and all because they're one rogue, the same level as we were. Just happened to be there. Happened to be there, and took it out. And I was like, you know, how bad is it nerfed <laughs> when right. a single rogue took it out? Right. It's just like, but I wanted to, at least I threw one smite, and it was actually the smite that brought it down. Well, that's good. I was like, okay, it died. At least you tagged it so you were able to get any loot off of it. <laughs> right? I come rolling in, I don't think there's anything on it for me to touch. You know, it was just one of those things, it's like, this is, really? So what I'm thinking is, is setting you guys just making you guys sit there yeah i'll just go sit there and wait the entire time that i can do it that way you can actually fight him yeah well and i wouldn't even actually engage it until everybody showed up anyway just put about it like don't touch him don't just like just shout into the room uh, into the area don't touch him let him sit don't touch him no because then somebody will just be an asshole and do it anyway so if it comes if it looks like somebody's getting ready to hit him i'll hit him first <laughs> because i'll be the bigger asshole <laughs> i have the hat <laughs> but I mean that's sort of the point though like I went through yeah it's it's two years old three years old whatever I don't care we never did it before right. it, was, it was something that we wanted to get you know wanted to experience being the cult of Cthulhu right we figured it was our job to raise ancient deities right it's pretty much an imperative at that point right you're right and <laughs> we did it, and like somebody was like, "Oh, look what's popped up! I'm gonna kill him." No, what was what was his name? Uh, Kamatsu or something like uh, that. Uh, Kazumoth. Kazumoth. The, the hungering. hungering. Yeah. I mean, we can go through. They do have a Cthulhu esque uh, raid boss. Oh, do they? Yeah, we can actually get together and actually go deal with uh, Cthun. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we ought to do that sometime. And and check that out. But uh and that was brought up to me the other day. I was like, Oh yeah, I f- totally forgot about Cthune. <laughs> that's you know, that's totally when our real house and we can totally do it like only a couple of people, you know. Yeah. Because let's be honest, we have this guild that has like thirty some things, but they're like five of us. There's five of us that have thirty some alts. Right. <laughs> it's like Invite me to the guild. Well, there, there's like eight people in like total, maybe that were playing, and then you know all of their alts. But you know what? It's all friends. We have fun, and it's the cult of Cthulhu. So you know. And there's like five of those eight people that still log on. <laughs> <laughs> but less than that before I started doing it again. Hey, yeah, right? Uh, but no, but so for as long as you know, how did they say how long they were going to make it free? Oh, I, I don't remember off the top of my head. 
You know, so check it out. Get back on. If you're on Ravencrest, give the cult a nod. <laughs> or say, the finger, either one. We don't care. Right. And to say, hey. <laughs> yeah. How you doing? Because <laughs> uh, that's literally everybody who's on it is associated to the radio station somehow. Yeah. And that's a that's on Ravencrest. That's the Alliance side, the Cult of Cthulhu. Now, you said there was a sister guild on another server. That's no, it's on the same server. Oh, still on Ravencrest? Yeah. For the Horde? The... For the Horde. It's called the, the, the Cult of the Pallid Mask. Okay. Those who want to, like, like, why is it the Pallid Mask? You know, it's... Uh, I don't uh, play Dirty Horde. The King in Yellow. Yeah. You know, it's a, an allusion to the King in Yellow. Who is known to be wore a, a Pallid Yellow Mask. Right. So we have the Cult of Cthulhu and the Cult of the Pallid Mask. Okay. So uh, we're, I, I guess the Pallid Mask is looking for members. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> everybody who is on the other, on the one, joined the other, but nobody plays Horde on that server. Everybody plays Horde on Raxar or whatever, and it's just like, but I don't like jumping servers to do whatever. I'm. Man, my mom does that. She's got like a million characters. No, seriously, she's got like a hundred tunes. I bet on like eighteen different damn servers, and she fills them up. You know, like, I can't how do you keep track of that shit. Right, I, I, I'm, I'm sitting here barely able to play. I, I have one server that's full of tunes. How many does it take to fill the server now? Uh, ten or eleven? I think it's more than that. It's well, like fifteen now, didn't they up it? I don't think so. God, don't tell my mother. <laughs> Sit around, drink her coffee, and play her WoW. World of Warcraft. <laughs> Uh, she enjoys it, though. I guess that's good for her. Because there's somebody yell at besides me. Okay, then you can have 11. Oh, As, of 11. Okay. As of Mist of Pandaria, you are limited to 11 per round. Okay, well, what about as of, you know, Legion? That's that They haven't upped it since. Oh, okay. So you can have 11 tunes per server. Okay. And I am at, like I, I think I have, like, two open slots because I got rid of trash i've been meaning to go through and get rid of a bunch of people and just send sell and sell all their stuff and send the money to somebody you know i'm sitting here going, my tunes are because i'm sitting here running around going like <laughs> i've i've not played you know like i have eric zahn which you'll see a, a, a naming trend because <laughs> yeah. the the uh the high priest of cthulhu right now is uh um uh, obed marsh you have uh then then my highest uh one for the uh, the horde is Eric Zahn um, and whatnot. So you have like those that are you know, and I have a couple others, and it's kind of split right now. Like the only one that isn't and like Lovecraftian related is you know Neruda, because you know I don't even know how I come up with that name. I think it was something that was auto populated. Um, and, and you were drunk, I think. Probably how that happened. Probably. Um, and then you have Hitard, which is like my low-level dwarf that I, I named. Hitard. I hit hard. <laughs> yes. Hit hard. <laughs> I hit hard. <laughs> and and the only reason I made him was because when we finally got you back playing low levels, because it's free to play up to level twenty anyway, mm-hmm. we were running together. At very low levels, so like yeah. I, I didn't, I never went back to him. As soon as you got your your, your bigger characters back, yeah, I never went. I could probably delete Hitard, yeah, because the one that was running around with him no longer exists. Yeah. So, because uh, you were doing the, the, I think you did the Fireforge Brothers between you and uh, uh, Eddie. I think it's what your guys' tunes were. Oh, no, no. His, uh... No, we never actually done the Fireforge Brothers between uh, between us on WoW. That's all, that's just been a and d thing, but... Uh, no, because I thought, I thought you guys did Tankard and... Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, okay. Because that was what yeah, you came did, back yeah, as. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did at one point, yeah. <coughs> so, 
Like those God, were the I characters. About you, that. You, that was on that other account. What? Yeah, that was the one okay. you left behind. Yeah. When you got your big ones, it's like okay, yeah. I'm like Hitard running around going, I have no friends. Yeah. <laughs> so, I could probably delete him, but yeah, you know, we have two servers, you know, or in one server, one server that, two sides, two sides that we, uh, um, and even though somebody is a, uh, um, uh, a you know, alliance only, I get a cha- I get have fun playing both sides. Yeah, like running through Under Mountain and not have to worry about people or uh, under whatever that place is called. The Undercity. Yes. And I'm not even Horde. <laughs> know your enemy, sir. Hey, n- well. Dirty, filthy Horde. Know the amount of alcohol that I've drank. <laughs> Dirty, filthy Horde. <laughs> <laughs> you know, being able to run around and not have to worry about like, oh, we got to go here to kill, um, what's her name? And then we go over here. Do you remember that raid? Going to the capital cities to yes yeah I remember that. Do you think we're going to get that again? On the vanilla or no on from the battle for Azeroth on battle. It, we might. I mean, boy, it'll be a show though. Because be that little... was always that was the fun. Yeah, you know, like that was, oh, was like everybody get together and we're going to go. That here. was part of the why you get in there. You know, you had uh, yeah there would be raids on cities and you know you go into Stranglethorn Vale and that's a wild west. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, it, it's no, it was no joke. And you go back to like vanilla or BC, and like you having um, like werewolves and whatnot in uh, the Halloween in in, in Duskwood. Yes. You Why know, do they not do that anymore? I don't think so. Not since Gilneas came in with. Uh, well, see, I haven't done anything with Gilneas. What expansion pack was that in? Because. Uh, I... I think they were in Cat. God, there's so much stuff I haven't done. I'm I'll have to sp- I'll spend a week just going back with Dagan and doing all the stuff that I missed from you know before because I've just concentrated on level and not done any kind of like right story development at all. You know, yeah, that was in Cataclysm. Well, I need to go back there. I, I I have a, a level thirty five lichen oh. mage running around, and I thought about honestly. I was like, oh, we I I should totally give him the boost. <laughs> I, like, I had a, that would be awesome to have like you know a mage that level. And I was like, well, he has a mage, and his mom has a mage, and I said like everybody we run well, around with, we do not have a a, a cleric. <laughs> right. I was like, okay, so I'll I will. Take the cleric, and the sad thing is, is I do so much damage as a holy cleric, <laughs> right? That is not funny. And and honestly, you know, with with as much run around as in quest and stuff as mom does, she probably should have just you know give the boost to her main so that it'd already be done and she'd be caught up. And because she goes, runs around with her other tunes and levels them, so me, I wanted to up Utheran, but. I See, didn't want to me, go through all the quests. I'm like, he's sitting at like level 45 or 50. Yeah, you don't want to like. God, I just don't want to go through that. I don't want to grind right. for an alt. Right. Especially when everything is level adjusted and whatnot. If, I mean, if I had the money, I'd be paying to up everyone up I got on the <laughs> server. I'm like, take That's my like money. That's like $60 I, a piece. Yeah, and you know what? I'd pay it because <laughs> I don't care. I'm like, I don't want to mess with it. You know, you get to the point, though, like, I mean, I'll be honest with you, there, there's times I'm like, I would like to go play back because I don't remember. Right. It's been so long. Right. Well, I mean, you know, I got out of it a couple of times because it became like a second job. Right. Yeah, that's that's why I'm so well, dead set against having to do the grind for the leveling and, and why. Well, I and honestly, though, that you don't have a <laughs> your 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 main jobs now. I, I would see that as a vacation. Oh, I get to mindlessly kill stuff instead well, of like yeah. paperwork. All right, right let, let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> But, you know. Yeah. So, like we were talking about, go check out WoW. If you haven't been on in a while, go play it for free. You can play up to level 20 for free. They've boosted everybody up to to Warlords. So, go check that. Uh, check out the new stuff that you get access to. Um, and make a character, do whatever, and, and 
and play on. So, because it's fun. They've nerfed some stuff, but they always do. And then they they backtrack it and and dial something else down because it's too out of control or whatever. Yeah, I got so sick and tired of redoing talent trees. <laughs> every expansion? Well, no. Like It seemed like every week there for a while. Like, you oh, have no, unspent like, talent points. Oh, like, God. oh, no. like, like well, This is way too powerful. We go check it out. Like I said, on Ravencrest, we are the Cult of Cthulhu. And uh, on the Horde side, we are the Cult of the Pallet Mask. Like, drop us a line. Give us a shout. Something if you see one of us running around, say, hey, you know, I want to join you guys. We may let you join. I'll be honest, we'll probably, like on the Horde side, we'll probably let you join. And you'll end up with the thing, with the uh, <laughs> the guild, <laughs> guild leader. Because uh, we don't log on that as often as we do the others. Mm-hmm. And not because of lack of interest, it's because of lack of time. Hmm. That's the way it goes. Hmm. Like so, I well, go log into the horde side. Real quick. <laughs> Tear my enemy apart from within. <laughs> there you go. But so, do you have anything else to talk about? Oh, anything that jumped in? Like we went from solo well, into wow. Well, and we were we and. were trying to come up with excuses for what we haven't been on for like three weeks, and then we just like kind of yeah, we we got interrupted, and then uh, got. Uh, Kind of got away from that, but, uh, yeah, I don't remember why either. But probably, be, oh, well, you, I mean, you talked about the us going to that uh, Indiana on tap. You know, that's yeah. probably why the second and the third, at least the second show didn't happen. <laughs> we were still drunk as shit. Right? Wow. And then, like, and then the third show went because we were like, oh, we get free access to, like, all this other stuff? Let's check this out. Oh, yeah, that, and then it involved in, like, a two-day drunk at the house because, like, we got all this free, like, growlers oh, God, and so whatnot. Good. And we still have one growler left, by the way. Which one? Yours. Oh, well, it ain't going to be there for long. The coffee that um, I can't drink. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How much of that's left? Like, an entire growler. Oh. You had two two glasses out of it. Okay. Well, it's going to so, be going away pretty I soon. drank uh, the... The Guardian uh, Ogre Stout. I drank the Three Wise Men, or uh, the Three Kings. <laughs> the Three Wise Men. The no, three. it was the Three Wise Men. It wasn't <laughs> the Three Kings. It was the, the, the Three Kings um, uh, Blackberry Wheat. Was it Three Kings? I thought it was the Three... No, that was something else that had to do with the Saturday show that we're going to be doing later on. Okay, uh, well, I, I knew it was, I knew that it was, was one, one of, the, of the two. Right, I couldn't remember which one though. I'm like, uh, do we have a sticker up somewhere? <laughs> yes, we do. Okay, so that's why you're okay. So you're certain that it's <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, and then uh, there is something else. Uh, I I I pretty much finished those two. You had the, the guardian holy hand grenade of Antioch. The guardians holy hand grenade from An- of Antioch. And then you had, had the coffee Buddha, stout. Cheap. The, the War Buddha was like $18 to fill the growler. And it's worth it. Free growler, but $18 to fill the growler. So Still worth it. You know, so we got $6 off of a $30 thing. But it, or a $20 thing. But, you know. Still worth it, like a free growler, and I was like, okay, well, let's fill it with uh, uh, the ogre stout because that's in the budget. Still delicious. I loved it. I think I drank the whole thing. Did you get one glass of the ogre? No, I didn't. I t- well, I tasted it when we when we done the flights, right? But I, I wasn't that big a fan of it. I mean, that, that was a uh, that was the one from th- uh, Guardian. Guardian. Right? Yeah, and that that should be if I can get okay. a hold of the people, the which you have the uh, the card for. Uh, we should be doing a uh, thing for the Roku channel. I don't have the card anymore. I gave the card to you. Well, then it's in uh, your thing over there. It better be. It be. That's why I gave it to you. <laughs> Keep track of your stuff, sir. There you go. Because um, the other oh, the other ogre stout that was at that tasting was from that creature's a habit. Yes. Which I still need a sticker for for my refrigerator. There around, we have an entire sheet of stickers. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and rather than just grabbing, rather than just grabbing a sticker, I cannot be held responsible for my drunken actions. <laughs> we grabbed an entire sheet of stickers. Goddamn right. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
But I didn't notice is it's like they had them laying there. It was like, okay, well, this I'll just grab mine. a sheet. I'll just grab a sheet. <laughs> You know, and then walked away because it was in with all the other stuff. And then we got we got back to the car. I was like, "Oh well, I think I grabbed like too many." <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but now we have stickers on the wall. They're we have all stickers. over the thing here in front of the mics. <laughs> 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 There's like three of them. I had one on the mic stand at one point in time, but <laughs> it started peeling off, so I took it off of there. But you know, it's we're advertising because we get a, at least a decent amount of people through through here. So. Mm-hmm. Um, think of something else. Anything else that we need to talk about for this show? Uh, we're sorry it's been so long, but we've been drunk, and <laughs> we'll been do drunk. better next time. We've been drunk and working on a uh, uh, a short film that we got coming up uh, yeah. that's going to be part of the anthology, the Black Book. Yeah, which is why my brain's kind of all over the place right now, thinking about different stuff. But it's, you know, that's part of his new job, being the the assistant director to me. No, ha, 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 ha. not the right hand man though, because I'd be too busy. <laughs> but you need to get anyway, my cards made too, sir. We're gonna do that. Anyway, this has been Geek Public Radio on GeekPublicRadio dot com. We talked about a lot of stuff. We talked about the solo movie. We talked about a lot about the World of Warcraft, and a little bit about what we are doing, and a lot about alcohol. Are you sure this is not a, a, a Friday show? Well, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I mean, we haven't really been too focused for this show, so we'll we'll go ahead and apologize for that. And here in another couple of days, we'll have another one out, and right. uh, we'll be back on track because this hopefully, is just kind and of not a place drunk. We're like, hey, we ain't forgot about you. We're just drunk as piss. <laughs> We're still using our, our our membership, so check that out. I'm going to close it out with another oh, ad. The what are you, are you going to do the ad, the fair that I'd sent you the thing for? No, no, yeah, not yet. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go do ahead and do that. Time. All right, we'll, we'll No, we'll do we'll that do, next time. We'll do that next time because I gotta, still need to talk to them people. Right. Um, but we do want to end this with, if you want to be drunk like us, <laughs> for for cheap, IndianaOnTap.com. Go there, get your membership, at, put us in, in the coupon code Coupon code just as you uh, exit out or just as you're checking out. Uh, it'll take $10 off the thing. Join us in a drink. We've already paid for it, and then some, and we enjoy it every time we go out, and we're still enjoying it. What's the coupon code? Uh, Chambers 10. Capital C. Yes. So, put that in. You get $10 off your, your yearly membership, and join us for a drink. But this is Topher. A little sunny. And we will see you guys next time.